What is up everybody? So I know that geometry is a sore spot for so many students. So these are 10 questions you absolutely have to have down for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT geometry. Okay, let's do it. All right, now this question I have messed up multiple times. I know exactly what I need to do for this question, but for some reason, every time I see it, I make the same silly mistake and I want you to see how to do it correctly. Here's what it is. It's asking what is the perimeter of the figure above with angle A equals 60? All right, here's the deal. I'm going to draw over this figure so you can see the perimeter. So let's take a look at this. The perimeter is gonna be all of this circle, but what else is it gonna be? It's also going to be this radius and this other radius. Now, that's the part that students often forget. What they do is they just figure out part of the circle and then they leave the rest of it undone. But you have to have those two radii. It's really important. All right, so now what are we going to do here? What's the perimeter of the figure above with angle A equals 60? So we're not dealing with the whole circle. We're dealing with a part of the circle. And it's asking for the perimeter. It's not asking for the area. Perimeter of a circle is given by what? Circumference. So we have circumference equals 2 pi r. But we're not dealing with the whole circle, are we? We're dealing with part of the circle. What part are we dealing with? Well, first of all, we know a total circle has how many degrees? 360. But in this circle, how many of those degrees are missing? It tells us the angle A, the part that's missing, is 60 degrees. So what do we do? 360 minus 60 is 300. So we're dealing with 300 out of a total of 360 degrees. So it's 300 out of 360 degrees of the circumference. So that's times the circumference. Well, the circumference is 2 pi r. So we have 2 times pi times 6. We can now replace that with 12 pi. So 300 over 360, we can cancel out the zero. So we have 30 over 36. We can divide the top and the bottom both by 6. And what do we have? 5, 6. So we've got 5, 6 times 12 pi over 1. We can cancel the 6 and the 12, which gives us 2 pi on the top times 5, which is just 10 pi. Now, remember that 10 pi is just the distance around this portion of our circle. But what do we have to add in there? Remember, we have to add in those two radii, which are 6 and 6. So we have 10 pi plus 6 plus 6. So that's 10 pi plus 12, which is given to us in answer choice D. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. And make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened to SAT prep. <laughs> there we go. And I like love it. I think yeah. that's the one.